Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do this very beautiful, natural uh, makeup look, very bronzy with a really beautiful pink lip. I already did her eyebrows off camera. And what we're going to do is we're going to start with uh, the NYX primer, primer spray. Uh, and this is going to hydrate the skin and make it uh, ready for the makeup that we're going to put on top of it. And it's going to make the makeup uh, last longer. And what I'm going to use right now is a liquid highlighter from L'Oreal Lumi. Um, this is also a base and it's going to make her skin right now look like a disco ball. Uh, but when we put the foundation on top of it, it's going to make the foundation look very uh, beautiful and, and uh, glowy. Now we're going to use the L'Oreal Infallible uh, foundation with a Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. And we're just going to go ahead and press this foundation all over the skin and the neck. Using the Fit Me Concealers by Maybelline in the color medium. I'm going to use this color first as a skin tone. And I'm going to put that uh, on the highest points of the face, which is right under her eyes, the cupid's bow, the chin, the bridge of the nose, and the forehead. And to highlight the skin, I'm going to go in with the same concealer, but in Fair Claire uh, to give her some highlights. I'm going to take this uh, cream contour shade um, with a concealer brush by Sonia Kesha and I'm going to go ahead and place that on her cheekbones, the forehead um, and her jawbone just to slim it down a little bit um, and to help me blend all these colors I'm going to spray again the uh, primer spray by NYX. Uh, oh, but before that, I'm going to use the Sephora Cream Blush in Blush Me uh, to kind of give her a beautiful um, color to her cheekbones, or apples of the cheeks, I should say. I'm going to blend everything with a beauty sponge again by Real Techniques, and I'm going to start by blending the, um, conceal the highlighting uh, concealer first, and then I'm going to move in to the contour shade. I'm going to set everything with the Airspun translucent powder, um, I'm going to set all the highlighting parts with that powder. Um, for the rest of the face, I'm going to use the Revlon um, powder, setting powder in number 20, light medium, to set the rest of her face. I'm going to use MAC Give Me Sun um, to bronze her face, give her some more color. Um, I'm going to use this shade to bronze her cheekbones. I'm going to bronze her forehead a little bit. Um, and what's left of this bronzer, I'm going to use that on the side of her nose. And to further contour her a little bit more and make it a little bit more deep, I'm going to use MAC Blush in Blunt. Uh, the base of her con of her contour just to kind of make her cheekbones pop out a little bit more. With the Lorac blush and highlighting palette, I'm going to use the color Ray as her blush. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on the top of her um, apples of the cheeks and I'm going to blend it backwards to blend into the bronzer and the contour. Um, from the same palette, I'm going to grab the highlighting shade which is called Sunlight. And I'm gonna place it on the top of her cheekbones, the cupid's bow, and the tip of her nose. Uh, once I'm done with this highlighter, I'm going to set her face with the L'Oreal setting spray. Um, and before it dries, I'm gonna take the highlighter uh, from Laura, Laura Geller and Gilded Honey. And I'm going to really highlight the cheekbones um, and everything else so that she can have a more blinding highlight. Later on, I'm also going to use this highlighter on the corner of her eyes to open up and brighten up her, um, her eyes. She loves the glow, and so do I. <laughs> 
Now with the Soft Orker ink uh, paint pot by MAC, I'm going to place that on the eyelids so that we can prep, prep the uh, eyes. Um, with the Androgyny palette by Jeffree Star, this has become one of my favorite palettes. I'm going to take the color Frosting and I'm going to place that all over her lid, her eyelid, uh, to make it very natural and when she's out and about, um, when the sun hits her, it'll really be beautiful uh, and it'll give her a really beautiful sheen to the eye. Uh, I'm going to blend the edges with nothing on the blending brush and I'm just going to blend the edges. Um, but I'm also going to take from that palette Deja Vu. It's just a beautiful bronzy pa uh, shade. I'm going to place a tiny little bit on the outside of her eyes just to give her a tiny bit of def definition. Then there, I'm not going to put any eyeliner, but I am going to put some mascara and apply my favorite pair of lashes. And what a difference it makes. What I'm going to do now is take this color from Rimmel. It's an eyeliner in 005 Nude. And I'm going to put it on the waterline so that it will op open up her eyes a little bit more and make her look a little bit more fresh. And grabbing um, Give Me Sun by MAC, the bronzer that we used earlier, I'm going to put a little bit of that on the bottom of her uh, uh, bottom lashes so that she can have some color there. And now I'm using the uh, Gilded Honey by Laura Geller. The lip that I'm going to be using is from Sephora. It's a lip stain in number 6. Uh, it's a very beautiful pink and I'm going to top it up with Candy Yum Yum Lip Glass by MAC to give her a really beautiful uh, glossy lip and the look is complete I'm going to set everything again with the L'Oreal setting spray um, and that is it Thank you so much for watching everyone, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos and I will see you in the next video. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook and Snapchat.